Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, Okia Omtata was on an interview at JKIA Live with Yefko Enangi. And uh, during that interview, there are so many things that Okia Omtata exposed that some of us did not know. No one could think of any of the Supreme Court judges can go to an extent of threatening someone who has a case in the same court. Because all of us are aware that Okio Mutata was among people who had a petition in the Supreme Court and according to Okio Mutata's uh, petition on the presidential result, he was clear that none of the candidates, the front candidate, <laughs> William Ruto and Raila Odinga got 50 plus 1 percent. He demonstrated through his calculation, but when the Supreme Court judges made their ruling, they just dismissed Okio Mtata uh, case and they did not disapprove him as far as his calculation on those results was concerned. So of course, they had promised to deliver a full judgment. That's what people are waiting for. But Okia Mutata is one man who strongly believed that his case was not dealt with. And the questions Kenyans are asking, why and how can just a Supreme Court judge, <laughs> of course, uh, Lenaula, go to an extent of threatening a citizen who is seeking to resolve his grievance through the court rather than going to the street to demonstrate or cause chaos. I wanted to listen to Okio Mutata shortly and then after this we will continue with this conversation. Do, do you regret it? Do you regret doing it? In the first no, I would do it again. I would only want a different bench of judges. Oh, so now you're blaming the judges? I'm even, even one we are fighting right now. Oh, seriously? Yeah, judge, yeah, Supreme Court judge threatened me on, on uh, my WhatsApp. Uh, what, what do they tell uh, you? Do you want to tell us who it is? <laughs> yes, it's Justice Lenaola. He threatened me. Saying to end the case and to end the case. Mm. Yeah, so, I, I'm a fighter, my friend. Uh? Ah, that one. <laughs> His invitation is he's inviting me to a, a feast. Because you love a good fight. Yes, a good fight, I'll fight. Yeah. Yeah, and especially coming from a judge of the Supreme Court, I've litigated before you. Then you come and threaten me, mm. you don't get away with it. You don't. Mm. Yeah. So, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, so. That's why I'm telling you, I don't think my case was addressed. It was dismissed, yes. Mm. But it was not addressed. Yeah. Now we are continuing with our panel discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much, so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give our video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, when Kenyans have grievances, the only place they turn to for justice is the court. That is the only place they have. And if there were no court in this country, then it means if you have a problem with someone and you're not, your problem is not being sorted out, you might end up fighting or even killing each other. So this court are here to solve such problems. To bring justice where there is no justice. To resolve problems from Kenyans. But when you go to the same court, then the only people who have been given the mandate to serve you with justice, people who are being paid through your tax, turn against you and it threatens you. How do you expect to get justice from the same individual? 
Jasle Naula could not serve justice to Okia Omtata, the Kenyan people who voted, and even Raila Molodinga as a presidential candidate. If he went to an extent of threatening Okia Omtata, a man who made his case very clear before the Supreme Court, a citizen who has been an activist in this country, fighting for the interest of the common Mwanainchi, a man who has been respected among Kenyans, to some extent even when the elected members of parliament are not serving the interest of Kenyans, Okio Mtata goes on excellent of even sacrificing his own resource to seek for justice in the favor of Kenyans. That is the man Lenaola was threatening through our WhatsApp message. What we don't understand is what Lenaola was telling Okio Mtata because he has not told us exactly. But he has exposed that he was threatened by the Supreme Court judge. So, if these judges, all of them, the whole bench, agreed on what Mother Kome, CJ, was reading, then what do you learn from that? What does it, what does it tell you? And Aula and the others agreed. But he is the one man who was threatening one of the petitioners. Why threats? Why intimidation? Why silence someone who is making his case before you? This explains some of the reasons why Raila Odinga and his team did not agree with the Supreme Court ruling. But because we are a democratic country, they accepted. They did not agree. But they just accepted. That's why you see today, Raila Odinga was in Mombasa, by the way, he's back. And this is what he said, I have been away for a few days. I'm back. I went to recapitate in the islands of Zanzibar. I took my wife, children, and the grandchildren also to go and heal out of the shock that they got as a family. And uh, touching on the ruling, that's what he's saying. The ruling was judicial thuggery, and we will not allow this type of thing. We will not allow judicial to become a dictator. Raila can be justified to say that this ruling was thuggery. Because a judge who goes to an extent of threatening a petitioner, how can you refer to him if he's not a thug? Raila is justified to say that judicial is becoming a dictator. A man who threatens you when you have a case that he needs to solve, how can you call him if not a dictator? Mother Karua did not agree with this ruling and she said she might move as a Kenyan citizen, not as a Zimio, to the East Africa court. And this means Mother Karua will be taking some individuals to that court. He is not petitioning this case so that they can overturn William Ruto's rule, win. That one is beyond. But maybe Mother Karua is going to petition a case against some judges here. And people like uh, <laughs> uh, Lenaula, a Supreme Court judge, should be one of the people Mother Karua should be questioning his character. That's why Raila Dinga is saying that Kenya have a right to march to Supreme Court and contest the ruling by evicting rogue judges. Remember, right to picketing. There is rogue judges there because this team has come out to threaten Okia Mutata. Okia is just one man who is speaking his mind because we know Okia Mutata fears nothing. Maybe there are some of the other people who have been threatened there and they are silent because of fear. 
So tell me, how can you believe in what Mother Kome <clears throat> read, what she delivered, when some of her colleagues were threatening people? How do you believe <clears throat> in that ruling? To me, it is not making sense. And we are yet to know why why Lenaola threatened Okia Mutata. So Okia is going to take that case forward. He says that one man who don't give up. So seemingly it's like he's going to petition another case against Lenaula for threatening him through our sub. I don't know what to think about this, but with some of the issues we are hearing now, for me I have nothing to doubt that Supreme Court was simply playing politics and even Robert Alai and other people had also spoke, uh, shared their views. So for me, I'm largely agreeing with them when such things come out. See you in our next video, but let us meet in the comment section.